There is a real reason on why 6 9 has pretty much disappeared from social media within the last week or so, and honestly, it is not looking good for him at all. So make sure you watch this full video, as I will be sharing with you what could be the end of Takashi 6 9 Also, leave a quick like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are a 6 9 fan. Now, since 6 9 got released for snitching in his court case, and he was able to return home, he actually went straight to creating new music again. And the music industry has honestly changed in a huge way since him being released. You see a lot more people being active on social media, and not only that, but 6 9 has started many, many wars on social media, on Instagram Live especially, since him coming home. Now once 6 9 was released, his new songs Gooba, Trolls, and Yaya yeah, yeah, have actually been the three biggest songs of the year of 2020. I know a lot of people hearing that, you know, may disagree with me, but if you actually check the numbers, they are on the top 10 list of rap music in 2020. And many people are wondering why 6 9 has literally disappeared off social media right after releasing what could be the three biggest songs of the year. His Instagram and Twitter accounts have actually both been deactivated and no one has heard a word from him since. And this is all due to the fact that 6 9 has actually made a huge mistake which could make him be sentenced back to lockup for a very long time. Now I am about to go into full detail about how this could be the rest of his life locked up, so make sure you continue watching this video as this is not going to end well for 6 9 Now I do want to mention this video is sponsored by the lovely people over at Ridge Wallet. Now let's be honest guys, times are changing and so are wallets. You don't want to be carrying around a massive wallet in your pocket anymore. It is very outdated. I mean, just look at this beautiful titanium wallet that they sent me. It's a perfect size. It also holds up to 12 cards as well as a cash clip on the back of the wallet. Now there's over 30 colors to choose from for these wallets as well as carbon fiber and titanium styles. Ridge Wallet is so confident that you will love their wallets due to their 30,000 five star reviews that they will even let you test drive one of these babies for 45 days and for the odd chance that you didn't like it you can honestly just send it right back to them now if you would like 10 percent off on your custom wallet today make sure you use code district for 10 percent off with the link in the description to ridgewallet.com now since being allowed to use his social media accounts after snitching in court Takashi 6 9 has actually been breaking a lot of the rules that his contract held, which resulted in him having his Instagram and Twitter account deactivated as of recently, just in case you are wondering where he went. Now what many of you actually don't know is that when 6 9 was released on house arrest, he had to follow very strict guidelines to remain full access to his regular freedom on social media. Now obviously if you know 6 9 he never really follows any rules, so 6 9 took full advantage of his freedom in a way which made his parole officer very angry with him and just the court in general were not pleased with his social media antics when he was allowed freedom on social media. From the tweets to the Instagram live to even some of the things that he did in the Gooba and Trolls music video, they were not happy with what he was doing. Now in just one month of 6 9 being free, he was basically able to start a mini war between him and many rappers in the music industry such as Meek Mill, Snoop Dogg, G Herbo, honestly the list goes on and on. 6 9 has really not made too many friends while being released from lockup as he's just basically going at everybody in the music industry for not getting as much streams as him. Now not only that, but he was also able to make his parole officers pretty mad at him as well as making the streets of New York 
very angry at him by basically claiming that he is still the king of New York. A lot of the people in New York were not really, you know, too happy or excited for him to say that, as the people in New York and the, that live in the streets of New York do not want their king to be a quote unquote snitch or rat, which obviously does make sense to the people that live, you know, the street type of lifestyle. So, all in all, the courts actually did not see 6 9 using his social medias, especially his Instagram Live, in a good way. So, what do they do? They just take it from him. But make sure you continue watching because now I am about to share some exclusive news that 6 9 announced before having his social media accounts taken down. Now just before having his social media accounts taken down, 6 9 announced that he will be getting off house arrest at the end of the month. Now there are many benefits to 6 9 being allowed off house arrest, but what you may not think is that there is a lot of negatives to this as well, especially if you are a 6 9 fan, and this is all kind of because of the problems that we just discussed that he made for himself with the release of his new songs Gooba, Trolls, and Yeah Yeah. Now with 6 9 being a free man within pretty much the next week or so, he has already announced that he will be doing what he used to do. So if you are just a new fan of 6 9 you basically don't know this, but 6 9 would basically record all of his music videos in the streets of New York. He would be collaborating with many music artists, and when I say he was recording the streets of New York, he would basically grab the whole entire place of like Brooklyn, New York, bring him to like a basketball court somewhere in the streets, and record his music video. 6 9 wants to go back to his old ways of doing that, and that is not going to end well for him, especially with how things have been going. Now if you do remember 6 9s court case, 6 9 snitched on what is said to be the biggest street team of New York. So this means his new music, you know, Yeah Yeah, Trolls and Gooba, honestly could be the last music video that he ever records, especially will be the last music video that he records in his living room of his safe house. But currently at the time of this video, those music videos are already out. 6 9 has announced he doesn't want to be recording any more music videos in his living room and wants to go straight back to recording the music videos in the streets of New York, which is going to be probably the worst idea and plan 6 9 has ever had in his life. Now, while recording many of his old music videos, 6 9 was actually protected by his old street team. Mind you, while recording a few of his old music videos, if he didn't have that protection, even then, people probably would have done some pretty bad things to Takashi 6 9 But 6 9 will not be getting that type of protection anymore. 6 9 does believe that he will be able to just roam the streets of New York again with no consequences, literally after snitching on what is said to be the biggest street team of New York. Many people that live, you know, this street type of lifestyle have actually already warned Takashi 6 9 to not return to the streets. 6 9 has already replied multiple times saying he doesn't care, he's going to have a lot of security with him. Allegedly, he hired 24 security guards that all used to be ex police officers. Now, I don't know if that is 100% true as of right now, but even without that or with it, 6 9 will be having such a large target on him when roaming the streets of New York and whether he has 10, 20, 30 guards, people will still be taking their shot at him 100%. I honestly do not see this as a very smart move from 6 9 and I think his record label will step in pretty soon to tell him not to do that. Obviously his record label will have a pretty big impact on what gets done for his music but they can't really control his day-to-day -day life. They can actually control what he does with his music videos, his music lyrics, and things like that, as 6 9 is signed to a musical contract. But if 6 9 wants to, you know, roam the streets of New York and do whatever he wants to do, his record label actually can't control that part of his life. 
I mean, you probably have heard it by now. Many music artists, they do get angry with all of the musical restrictions that the record label places on their music artists. Artists can't really be themselves all the time in their music just because of the record label. And that's why you see, you know, rappers and things like that get angry at their record labels. But 6 9 I think will be controlled a lot once he is off house arrest as I don't think his record label wants to take any chances with what 6 9 is going to do with his music videos. I mean 6 9 does have to play this part just a little smarter seeing as he did snitch on what is said to be the biggest street team of New York. I mean even that alone you can't really go back to New York after doing that. That's just a big, big no. But all in all, due to all of the things that 6 9 did on social media that we talked about earlier in this video, he actually could be getting back to his original sentence of 47 years locked up. All in all, that's pretty much a life sentence, as this is kind of what the video is about. But, I am ending the video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Has been District Trending, and I'm out. Peace.